are you doing? Hi. I'm, I just got done with the workout, and now I am making my zucchini turkey burgers from my cookbook over there. And I am uh, stirring tahini. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Thanks. So what are you doing today? I uh, just worked out. We're going to have breakfast after I prep these burgers, and then the world is our oyster. Fun. Yeah. And the turkey burgers turkey with burgers. all sorts of goodness in there. Yes. It's in there. So, tahini, you just have to stir it because the oil kind of goes to the top. So you want to mix the goodness. And then it's two tablespoons of the stuff. Yum. One. Two, and I wish you could smell what's in this bowl because I have fresh uh, cilantro, fresh mint, uh, fresh um, green onions. It's delish. Look at so that. Wow. Zucchini, grated zucchini. Yum. Yummy. And that's the best. The kitchen. I'm the sous chef. Nice to meet you all. I uh, don't know anything about anything. Oh, and so, <laughs> just kidding. Oh my god. So, I just do what I'm told in the kitchen. What do I do? I'm just kidding. You're just what? I'm just a, I'm a sous chef and I don't know anything, so I just need to take directions. Yeah. yeah. So, I'm mixing this guy, all this stuff. And then, the key for an easy ginger peel is just using a spoon instead of like a vegetable peeler because mm. you have a lot more control and the edge of the spoon just kind of peels it. It's just as good as a vegetable peeler. I love that trick. So, if you guys want to take a look, let's see. Zoom in if you could. My biceps look good. Dang. Look how oh. ripped you are, buddy. Okay, so here is my little ginger knob, and just feel it. That's such a cool trick. I know, it's fantastic. I love it. Awesome. And see, you have a lot more control than with a vegetable peeler because you can get in these little, like, Nooks and crannies. That's so true, and you're not gonna cut yourself. Yeah, not gonna cut yourself. Because well, what other other people do? They use like vegetable peelers. Oh, not like knife, just a vegetable. Peeler. Vegetable peelers for the most part. Yeah, I mean the knife you can just cut like the edges, mm -hmm. but yeah. But see, this, and then it's so much easier to clean than a vegetable peeler. The spoon is, you know. Okay. And you just have a lot more control. Uh, it's a lot quicker. Okay. Yeah, and you don't have to buy a vegetable peeler if you don't have one, you know. Yeah. So anyway. I like the nooks and crannies piece. That's like yeah, when, when yeah. I do some of that, it's way Absolutely. easier. Absolutely. Yeah, like right there. Ginger's so good, I can smell it from here. It's so good. Yummy. I know. I love it. So then just rinse it real quick. Rinse it. And then what I'm going to do is, because I need about two or three tablespoons of uh, grated ginger in mm -hmm. here. And so what I do is just like one of these little graters. Like this, these are like a zest grater, but I again like these graters are a lot more dangerous and yeah, a lot well. more like a lot bigger. And you don't want to mess with that. I use that. I, I use this big grater for the uh, zucchini. But do you want me to do grater. that? No, that's okay. Do something else? No, I'm good. Okay. I'm almost done. Once I'm done with the ginger, I just mix in the vegetable. The sorry, the um, turkey, and then uh, mix it into that. Yep, mix it in the bowl and then combine it and then form the patties. And then uh, I'll just put the patties in the fridge until we're ready to cook them tonight. There you go. But I like to have this stuff prepped so that when hunger strikes, mm. we're not like ready to go get pizza somewhere, yeah. you know? And it just makes it more fun because then you can have a drink and not have to be super careful with like, you know, a recipe or with a knife as you're trying to cut oh, yeah. stuff. That's so. not good. This is great. Because we get ravenous, that's when you hurry. And when you hurry, that's when you hurt yourself. I know. So I do this kind of stuff like, Almost every day. Like I, like right after my workout, prep a bunch of stuff, cook breakfast, and eat healthy. This is my life, and I freaking love it. Because we only have one life, and we gotta live it well. Everyone. It's feel great. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. What's the next step, though? So you gonna put some turkey in? Next step, um, yes. Yeah, so all the stuff should be mixed, or I'm gonna mix all the stuff. That's the mixture. Mm-hmm. And it's just kneading the turkey. So delicious. All my spices are here. Just added cumin, coriander, and uh, a little bit of cinnamon and salt. Like this recipe is quite complex as far as ingredients. It's so delicious. Yum. All right. Once 
one pound of turkey. Sorry about my hair. Short <laughs> hair. Short hair is crazy when you work out. Like this is the reality. It's super cute, but not when you work out. Okay. And my turkey. All right, sure, I'll mix that right now. Mix the little patties. I'm actually going to use one of these plates. Since my hands are dirty with poultry, uh. I'm just going to use my elbows to move the plate. All right. Okay, so first, uh, I'm going to divide this recipe into five, I think, burgers, because four is way too big. And you can always have two if you're not satiated with one, but I like to first form them into balls versus just like the full turkey, just to kind of, or sorry, to the full patty, just to kind of divide the stuff first. It's easier to visualize in balls and to shape balls versus the whole pack patty. So I got three. Four. See, and even five are pretty big. I love these things. I can smell yeah, them. They're they're so, good. so good. So I'm just actually going to leave them like that and then I can squeeze them down when it's time to eat. Like, um, like smash them down? Or? Yeah, like kind of like smash them down and put a little like dent in the center. Oh yeah. Uh, kind of like, so I'll mash them down. I'll just show you the one, right? Boom, boom. And then a little dent Broke in the, the center. Middle. Yeah, for like added moisture when you're grilling them. Perfect. Um, but only they only need to be grilled for like anywhere from like five to seven minutes. Um, each side and you have to keep a watch on them so they don't burn um but yeah awesome yeah so then when you cook them so they're all prepped now so what are you gonna do you can put them in the fridge yeah just cover them with plastic put them in the fridge and they're good to go look that looks so good all right looks beautiful thank you are you just putting them on the pan yeah i'm reshaping them just because um they weren't that great on that plate because I wanted a little parchment paper mm. and they were touching over there and I'm going to make them touch here. Before and after. Yeah, some transferring and then I'll cover them with uh, that aluminum foil thing just to keep in the fridge. That looks so good. It's almost like a donut. It does. Like a meaty donut. Yeah, that's so true. <laughs> So, here's a little dot, a little hole is to like collect juices, you said? It's like taking them away, yeah. Mm -hmm. 